Good evening and uh, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau here from the Chateau de Colombe in Saint-Baudel in France. And we have, um, Stuart actually has been doing a deep dive into the archives and we uh, he picked pictures that are actually from the Chateau uh, over the last, what, 120 years. Yeah. Bonsoir à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. C'est un épisode avec des photos du Chateau de Colombe uh, depuis... Uh, 1900. Uh, nun zu unseren deutschsprachigen Freunden. Uh, <lacht> uh, eine neue Episode. Herzlich willkommen, Journey to the Chateau. Uh, Stuart hat uh, ist ganz tief in die Archive gegangen um, abends und hat Bilder rausgesucht, die hier vom Sch uh, Schloss sind, vom, von den Gärten. Und wir können jetzt ganz klar sehen, wie die Gärten aufgebaut waren, wo Tore waren uh, und wie gepflegt ist alles mal. Also, herzlich willkommen. Okay, so yeah, this is another episode about uh, photos from our archives, yep. and uh, everyone was actually uh, very excited and supportive about the ones we've shown so far. Uh, yeah, these are actually photos that uh, they're not quite as old as the others because the other ones were all in the glass negatives. These are uh, not quite as old as those, because, and, but they are all showing the chateau. And they're all over 100 years old. Most of them still, are I mean, they're not old, but they're still very old. <laughs> well, they're, they're older than, than <laughs> you look in the morning. Or me. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we did make some really fantastic discoveries in these photos. Mm. Uh, and I put together a little montage and then afterwards we're going to talk about the new things that we found. Yes, let's do that.
So one of the first new discoveries that we found in the photos was had to do with the potager or the kitchen garden. Yeah. And uh, we did plant there already because we knew that was the kitchen garden, but I don't think we realized how big they had actually used that garden before. Well, you know, it's it's we we thought it was a just kitchen garden, but it was not just only kitchen. Right. Right. And so we actually have several photos where it was floral as well. So uh it looked like it was sort of a, a ornamental. Well, they had a flower garden for right. to have always cut flowers right. during the summer for the chateau, right? With a very structured pathways that were going yes. through through the garden as well. They're all gone. <laughs> yeah. So we we have been able to figure out from the photos that were there were actually three gates, mm. three double gates. Yes. That actually went into this area, uh, one at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. And they were uh, the middle one was a bit more elaborate. Yes. than the others. It actually had more of a pergola, but they all had roses and flowers growing yeah. up on them. They're beautiful. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah. And so I think we've sort of decided that we would really like to put those back in. Yes, definitely. Yeah. What I find really fascinating is that, that they had these big pergolas. There were plenty of roses. It, it's, it's just really, really nice. And um, there is one close up. So they had actually chicken wire nailed against the very country looking uh, gates. Right. Uh, so th that was to keep rabbits out. And other ones. <clears throat> other critters, yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's so that's really, really interesting that and we we have found remnants of um not the gates, but the posts that used to be there and the chicken wire in that wild hedge that we have that goes basically mm -hmm. from here from the back of the chateau all the way to the chicken houses. Right. Uh, there, there is the, the other remains of the old fencing in it. So we knew, we know that right in front of that was actually a long, long path. And that was all gravel. And behind mm -hmm. the chateau, uh, where we have grass now, and mm -hmm. um, it's kind of, it's higher up. And then it dips down to the step, the first step mm -hmm. of the back door. Uh, that was all much lower and it was all gravel and we had a lot of flower beds in the back that were mm -hmm. actually quite a bit up. They were. Uh, we have a, at least a couple of photos that were, uh, it looks like they were taken almost from the back door looking out. And you can see that the gravel area in the back was actually quite far out. Yes. Yes. And uh, and there was a very definite line there and there were flower beds and something more, much more structured than we thought was going on in the backyard. Yes, we, we always thought, oh, this was just like an English garden, very informal, but no, it wasn't. It was the first part of this mm -hmm. was very, very structured. And then the back was always uh, more of a shown field or, or uh, pasture for, mm -hmm. I mean, they had donkeys. Right. Uh, they right. had horses and ponies. So mm -hmm. who knows where those were, but there is also, um, I mean, there at least five gates we need to reinstate, or six? Six. Right, right. And that, so that leads me to one of the, <laughs> in one of the other photos where we actually see the, the dovecot, the pigeonet. Yes. Uh, there is in the background uh, a, a small pedestrian gate that's right next to that. So they actually had behind that area was yet another area that had been gated off. Yep. And that is actually where we have fruit trees right now, too. So... Yes, they, they are, they're not that old. I mean, they're maybe no. 60, 70, 80 years old, but and mostly dying. Mm -hmm. I mean, fruit trees have a, a more, uh, unlike oaks, oaks can live for hundreds of years mm -hmm. and, and some other trees as well. Uh, fruit trees, not so much. Right. And so, <laughs> so one thing that you will notice uh, in the video, I did some 
standing in the same position. I took the photo from the same direction as the old photo. And what you will notice most is that the trees are not the same at all. Right. Well, no, there, there we, may be something that's back here that may have been a very tiny tree <laughs> at that time, but for the most part, uh, well, we have a lot of robinia still in the backyard, which are not uh, a native tree here. They're, they're almost they're a bit invasive, mm. and they're all dying, so they need to go. But we have a plantain tree or a sycamore tree that is about three hundred years old, and we know from uh, the family that told us the chateau that uh, about seven years ago they had something terrible happen to. Five trees that were all about two to three hundred years old, and they had to be all taken down because mm. they were uh, diseased and they were dying. Uh, so we have two really old linden trees, two linden trees that were cut down and grew back on the sides, and the the sycamore tree. So we have to re kind of really think about what we want. And I don't know, maybe we can borrow Davy from <laughs> Chateau de la Longue mm. uh, for for a, a little bit of. Um, because I mean, it's kind of it's we, we have ideas, but nothing is. Right. And again, mm. again, after seeing these photos, you know, the ideas sort of change yet again, don't they? With yes. The, knowing that it was much more structured in the back, with the pathways that they had going through. And where do we put the permanent donkeys? <laughs> exactly. Mm. <laughs> but right. Stuart has to go now, anyways, because he has to start ba building the gates. <laughs> so he's gonna no. Mm. Uh, I'll sh uh, maybe not next week. <laughs> next week. <laughs> Now, there's one photo that has so much significance for us because um, there is a chimney that's no longer there. Right. We have a missing chimney. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's also at the, uh, it's at the other end of the chateau uh, from it's the, the polar opposite of the kitchen. Right. And we have a fireplace um, that is in a downstairs salon which was used as a bedroom mm -hmm. at some point. Uh, but originally it was a salon and um, that fireplace doesn't go anywhere. I mean, the, no. the chimney doesn't go anywhere. Right, there is no <laughs> chimney for that fireplace. Right. And second thing is, and I, well, I think that the most important thing for us or the most significant thing mm -hmm. is that we saw that and it was really we were like, oh my God, look at this, it was really cool. Is that our chapel, which was consecrated in 1644. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is, really, really old, had actually a steeple in the center of the, the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, it was square. So there was a bell. There was. Yes, it is like a little sort of bell tower uh, steeple on top of the chapel. Yes. And it's like, it's, uh, so we know from um, viewers who are French who lived in this region that even in, uh, in the mid 1940s, there was an abbot who read mass here every single Sunday. Right, and actually he does appear in uh, quite a few of the photos, that mm -hmm. they have, family photos that they have as well. And they have nuns too, but they are not. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Well, which is interesting. So we have uh, priests and nuns. I mean, who knew? Right, right. <laughs> but so that is, that's fascinating. So the hole in the ceiling of the chapel was always a hole. That was not always there, but... Right. There was a, a pulley system, which we just thought, you know, didn't know what it was for. Now we do know there was actually a bell. And we did last summer. Mm -hmm. Just It just happened. We, we bought uh, a, a large, well, relatively speaking, I, it's, it's in one of the vlogs. We bought a bell. Mm -hmm. And we're going back and forth what to do with it. It's too big for to put it next to, on the top, outside of a tower as a, as a gate bell, not doorbell. But... So we actually eventually would like to rebuild that steeple mm -hmm. and we have a bell for it. How about that? Yeah, that would be fantastic, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yes. So that, that is fantastic. Oh, the gate is in there? Right. And we know, I mean, we knew that there was a gate. We have the, the long wall that's there. It has a, a part of it that needs to be rebuilt. There's a wall. It sort of separates the back of the chateau from the farmyard. It's a long wall. Oh, we, have, we have the gate. Well... What's left of it? Right, right. And uh, it's, it was actually really lovely to actually see the gate in place up where it's supposed to be. That was pretty. Well. And it's, yeah. it's a really, really tall gate. Another thing that there are ladders in the background. Right. So one of the things that I had noticed in that same photo. I did not. Was <laughs> that uh, in the back on that side of the chateau, we, are, we have three dormer windows on the first floor. Yes. And it just so happened that one of those dormers was not there in that photo. 
So what we noticed in some of the others, there were uh, multiple photos that we had where the children are riding the donkey. And in the background, you can see multiple ladders and things going up to the roof where they're actually installing that dormer window. And the interesting thing is that is the dormer where the roof was blown off during the storm. And um, we put that back up, Tony put that back up. Uh, it's, it's that dormer. Yeah. So whatever they did, they did not put any names <laughs> in it. So, so now we know. But um, oh, this is horrible, isn't it? <laughs> no, but that's so... So the, even the, the last uh, family who owned it put their, their mark on it and mm -hmm. did some changes. And you would never know that that was not an original dormer. No, you wouldn't. No. So, I mean, it's, it's really fascinating. So there are, uh, got so many like, details that we learned about the chateau and to see uh, the family and the kids and mm -hmm. the nun. So we actually saw them sort of grow up in, yes. in the photos. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we do have uh, quite a few more photos that we're going to share with you in a later episode. Um, some of them are interesting because they're in the front of courtyard where everyone's got nice clothes on and they have the automobiles and things going on. So uh, it, it's a lot cool. of fun, yes. a lot of the other photos. And we actually have other photos from the previous family as well from the 1960s that we will share at some point as well. Yep. That they uh, they came by once uh, last year, yes, I think, yes, and they actually gave us these photos, which was fantastic that they did that. So we will share those at some point as well. And some of them show utter destruction. Uh, they did, yes. <laughs> yeah. Unfor unfortunately, they did. So we live in an area here, in France, where sometimes you can have very severe storms mm -hmm. with uh, about tennis ball size hail. Mm -hmm. But that's a, whole, that's a story for a different time. A whole nother episode, <laughs> right. So that's it for this episode. If you like, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and recommend us to your friends. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us a lot. And please comment on what you think about the episode and the pictures. And if you have any ideas, let us know. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Friday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.